They say you are what you eat. And that's certainly true, right? What we take into our bodies makes a difference. If we consume good, healthy food, our bodies are going to be healthier. If we consume a steady diet of junk, then our bodies are going to suffer because of it. So what are you feeding your mind? What are you intaking through your eyes and your ears? We even talk about our media consumption. Think about the stuff that you watch on TikTok or YouTube, you know, social media. How much of that stuff is just gossip or cynical or sarcastic or even just downright hateful? Think about the news that you intake, the movies that you watch, the video games that you play. How is that forming your mind? St. Paul this Sunday in his letter to the Philippians instructs us to focus on things that are good, that are true, that are beautiful, lovely, and gracious, because we want to form our minds and our spirits to be like these things. How do we do that? Right. Well, look at good, beautiful works of art, not ugly and depressing ones. Listen to music that's going to be uplifting and inspiring and not make you angry, right? Um, you know, read good classic literature that tells uplifting stories. Um, Go outside and look at God's work of art and how beautiful the world is. Spend time with family and friends. Above all, though, spend time in prayer because nothing's more good and beautiful and lovely than Jesus Christ. Read his word in the scripture. Spend time in his presence in the blessed sacrament. Consume good things into your mind and your spirit because, after all, you are what you eat.